Quantities are said to be in arithmetic progression when they increase or decrease by a common difference. Thus, each of the following series forms an arithmetic progression. 2, 5, 8, 11, 8, 2, minus 4, minus 10. The common difference can be found by subtracting any term of the series from the next term. For example, in the first series, we subtract 2 from the next term 5. Hence, the common difference is 3. Similarly, to verify, let's subtract 8 from the next term 11. 11 minus 8, again the common difference is 3. Similarly, in the second series, 8 is subtracted from 2. Hence, the common difference is minus 6. Minus 10 minus minus 4 is minus 10 plus 4, which is minus 6. Hence, the common difference in this case is minus 6. Let's try to generalize this. Consider an arithmetic progression which starts with the term A. Let the common difference for the series be D. The terms of the series are as follows. T1, which is the first term, is A. T2, the second term, can be found by adding the common difference to the first term. Hence, the second term would be A plus D. The third term is T3, which is obtained by adding the common difference to the previous term. Hence, it's A plus 2D. T4 would be A plus 3D. And so on. We can deduce from this that the nth value of the arithmetic progression, that is Tn, will be A plus N minus 1 D. This formula can be used to find the nth term of an arithmetic progression. Let us now find out how to determine the sum of terms in an AP. Consider the following steps. We know that average is equal to sum divided by the number of terms. In an arithmetic progression, the terms are evenly distributed because of the common difference. Hence, the average can be taken as average is equal to first term plus last term divided by 2. Let us consider the arithmetic series as a a plus d a plus 2d and so on the last term of the series being a plus n minus 1d here the first term is a and the last term is a plus n minus 1d with a common difference of d. Hence the average would be first term that is a plus last term that is a plus n minus 1d divided by 2. From the first equation we get that sum is equal to average into number of terms. Hence the sum of the series here is average which is a plus a plus n minus 1 d by 2 into n. Or the formula for the sum of the series is sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 d. These formulae are in mathematical context and may not be easy to use for difficult questions. A much better way of approaching arithmetic progressions is by using thought algorithms to solve questions in a logical manner. Let's learn this with the help of an example. Find the 17th term of the AP 3, 7, 11 and so on. To solve this problem with a thought algorithm, you will have to think as follows. In order to find the 17th term of the sequence, we have to add the common difference to the first term 16 times. Well, what is the common difference here? It is 7 minus 3, 4. So as we just mentioned, to find the 17th term, we have to add the common difference 16 times to the first term. The answer is 3 plus 64, which is 67. We have essentially used the formula only but we haven't blindly inserted the values in the formula. Let's try another problem. Find the sum of the AP 2, 5, 8, 11 and so on until 15 terms. To solve this problem using a thought algorithm, 
we first need to find the average of the series. This is given by the average of the first term and the last term. Okay, so how do we find the last term? The common difference here is 3. To find the last term, we have to add 14 times the common difference to the first term 2. Hence, the 15th term is the first term plus 14 times the difference. 14 into 3 is 42. 42 plus 2 is 44. Hence, the 15th term is 44. The average then would be the first term 2 plus the last term 15 divided by 2, which is 2 plus 44 by 2, which is 23. To find the sum of the series, to find the sum of the series up to 15th terms, the average 23 has to be multiplied by the number of terms, 23 into 15. Hence, the sum of 15 terms of the series is 345.